joined me in the studio to take the report for today, 20th September 2021. Over to you, Mr. Charles. Thank you very much, Gina. It's um, a rather cool day today, and that um, also reflected in the market as we have seen be the first trading day for the week. The ASI close in the negative territory, losing 0.11% to close at 38,902.4 basis points. At the close of business today, when the closing gun sounded, the total volume of shares that exchange had was 175 million units, valued at about 2.3 billion naira in over 3,276 deals. Looking at the sectoral performances today, the NGS 30, which is the indices that measures the performances of the 30 most capitalized and liquid equity on the NGS platform, close in the negative territory, losing 0.15%. The consumer goods sector was negative, losing 0.16%. The industrial goods sector was positive, adding 0.13%. Oil and gas was also positive, adding 0.08%. While the banking sector closed negative, losing 0.33%. Moving on straight to the gainers chart, stopping that chart today is cheap PLC adding 9.62% to close at 57 cobol. Closely following cheap PLC is Champs, which added 9.52% to close at 23 cobol. We also have Cotville, the business solution people, adding 6.90% to close at 31 cobol. The one customer bank, Sterling Bank, also made the list, adding 4.7% to its share price to close at 1 naira 56 cobol. We also have Narco, adding 3.62% to close at 3 naira 15 cobol. On the flip chart, on the flip chart today, that is the loser's chart, topping that chart is Square, losing 9.43% to close at 96 cover. We also have very start scam losing 8.7% to close at 21 cover. Sovereign Trust Insurance also made the list losing 7.69% to close at 24 cover. We also have another insurance company, Linkage Assurance, losing 6.56% to close at 57 cover. The conglomerates company PZ made the list losing 5.98% to close at 5 naira 55 cobble. In the news today, Buari orders incorporation of NNPC appoint board. President Wamadu Buari has commenced the implementation of the Petroleum Industry Act PIA by directing that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, be incorporated. He also approved the appointment of the board and management of the NNPC Limited with Senator Ifai Ararume as chairman and the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mr. Meli Kari as chief executive. What is the implication of this to the average investor? NNPC will now be run as a private entity. That is, NNPC Limited. Mm. Yes, as a private entity. And we believe that with time, NNPC will be quoted on the NGS platform. And the average investor, the average Nigerian, can begin to buy the shares of NNPC and of course the board and, manage and management will be accountable.
accountable to the shareholder, to the Nigerian people. So it will be owned by all Nigerians, but the board and uh, management will run the company profitably. So that is one of the importance of the PIA, which is now the Petroleum Industry Bill. No longer bill now, it's now an act, which is a law. So we are going to see how that will play out. But we will congratulate the government for this giant stride. I will believe that this will go a long way in sanitizing the petroleum industry in the country. Over to you, Gina. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Charles, for that report. We'll go for a short break and we'll come back. We'll go into the investors' education series. Look at her face. 